This is a prototype of an equipment that could be uh, useful for astronauts on the moon to transport equipment and also to save an incapacitated crew member in uh, extravehicular activity. So this is called LISA. Uh, this, these are the acronym of Lunar Evacuation System Assembly or Lunar Equipment Support Assembly. So it's a merging of two different concepts that we have already uh, in place and we have two other mock-ups that are currently on the ground but will be flown in the next two flights. And this is the new version integrated the two concepts. So this equipment should be able to carry on top of it uh, payloads, uh, tools, uh, uh, spacewalk tools, uh, cameras, uh, antennas, anything that you would need on the work site because uh, even if you have a, a vehicle, which is foreseen later on, on on the Artemis program, you will not park your vehicle uh, on, on the place where you want to do geo geological uh, uh, sampling. So you have to be far away. And if you don't have your equipment with you, you can carry a little bit, but then you have to, to walk back and forth to uh, where your equipment is. So it's foreseen to be, to be quite uh, helpful to have uh, something that ca can carry, bring your equipment close to the work site. Have astronauts ever used anything like this on the moon? Yes, once. There was uh, one equipment like that that was used during uh, one Apollo mission. Uh, and it was actually a, a carrier with uh, two wheels and only one handle. And uh, it was not used later on because after that they got uh, their jeep, their, their vehicle, and uh, they use it only for, for one. So we have also the, the, the data out of it. Is it difficult to operate something like this uh, on the moon? It's not really difficult to operate it because it's much lighter, because of the uh, gra lower gravity, but it's more difficult when you have uh, uneven terrain. And you see here that we have some, some rocks that simulate some obstacles. What they have experienced from the Apollo uh, uh, mission using this, this car yeah, is that uh, it was more or less okay all the time, but because this equipment has only one handle, sometimes it was bumping on both sides and it was difficult for the astronauts to maintain uh, the stability uh, of uh, the, the carrier. And also sometimes the, it was so complex to go over an even terrain that they have to, ca to, to carry it. Mm -hmm. So because it was only a, a two-wheel uh, uh, carrier. Now we have a, a configuration with four wheels. What we want to test is how uh, an operator, an astronaut, let's say, in lunar uh, gravity will uh, work, what is the locomotion that will be applied to uh, pull and push this kind of equipment and how the equipment will react uh, over an uneven terrain and how you have to, to control it. This will give us some feedback to improve the next prototype, next generation, and to define is it better with four wheels, is it better with three wheels, is it better to have one handle, two handles, uh, what would be the, the, the best configuration. So it's a, the first step going in this direction.